Hey, hey, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, huh? You know what that means? Tonight is our fellowship. How do I look? Where is that entourage of mine? You know who is here. Somewhere. Where are you? Hey, while we're waiting for her, say this with me right now. The rest of my life... The rest of my life... Is the best of my life. Is the best of my life. The rest of my life... The rest of my life... Is the best of my life. Is the best of my life. Do you believe that? Yes. You do. I want you to believe it. Because when you start to believe that, it's going to start to happen in your life, huh? Yes. Hey, don't forget, when you uh, make an offering... This month, you're going to get one of these books, a faith book. This is an absolutely awesome book. I see you back there. <laughs> <laughs> she's, right, she's always right behind me. Huh? <laughs> she's been behind me for a year, decades. Pushing. Pushing, <laughs> yes. But when you make an offering this, this month, you're going to get one of these in the mail. Now, if you make an offering every week, you're going to get one of these every week. Because I want you to have extra to pass out. And some people are ordering five and ten and a bunch of them at a time. We're sending these out in bulk. We have literally sent out hundreds of these and we got hundreds more. So if you're on the list, if you have ordered these books and you don't have it yet, believe me, it is coming. We're waiting for another order of books, another shipment. Amen. So we're going to get them to you. So, But call me at the same time because I want to bless your offering. Do you have a merry minute for us today? Yes. Go ahead. You know, around this time of year, we send out um, Christmas cards. Well, there has to be a criteria for this Christmas card to get where it's going. Criteria. Criteria. And for in order for it to get where it's going, it has to have the right postage. And it has to be sealed. And it has to uh, have the right address. Well, sometimes we get things back in the mail because it doesn't have those. Uh -oh. <laughs> and, you know, your prayers are the same way. When you pray, you have to have the right address, which is, Dear Jesus. <laughs> God in the name of Jesus. God in the name of Jesus. And you have to have the right postage, which is faith. Oh yeah, that's good. And if you and you have to seal it with your heart. Oh, how <laughs> nice, huh? How's that for a merry? Minute? That's a merry minute, <laughs> all right. Isn't she neat? Isn't she neat? Don't forget your faith book, huh? You know she's talking about postage because you know who, mainly me took a bunch of Christmas cards to the post office, and there was like 750 people in line. Was there that many? I don't think there might not have been that many, but there was a long line, maybe 20. That's a little different than 750. A little a difference, but there was a bunch of people in line, and without thinking, I just put them in the slot. They didn't have any stamps on them. So we got them all back. Now, put stamps on them and put them back in the mail. So, if you're waiting for your Christmas card, it's coming too. Hey, I want to talk to you today about Bulldog Faith. Bulldog. Now, we have a dog. Muffy. Most of you have seen her. You've seen her picture. Sometimes I hold her up. But she is a Bichon. She's not a Bulldog. But I had a Bulldog one time. His name was John. He was an English bulldog. His head was that big around. His body was that big around. And he was about that tall. And he weighed about 65 pounds. But the thing about John is he was a bulldog through and through. Now, bulldogs were bred to bait bulls, to fight with bulls. And they put him out there in this ring hundreds and hundreds of years ago, 500,000 years ago in England to fight with bulls. And a, three or four of those things would bring a bull down. They would grab a hold of that bull and hang on to him 
until they would finally bring that bull down. They'd tire him out and bring him down. They didn't kill him. They just brought him down. Once the bull came down, then the fight was over. But uh, on page 37 of our faith book, we talk about bulldog faith. Now, it, Paul tells Timothy, he says, fight the good fight of faith. How many of you know faith itself now, there's different levels of faith, and we, we see that in this book. The levels are no faith, little faith, faith, and great faith. <clears throat> but at the level of faith, the third level, it can be a fight. It can be a fight. Faith fights their way through. Now, great faith, we all know, speaks the word only, and that's the end of it. But faith, if you just have faith, your healing may be a battle. Your, to get your finances increased, it may be a battle. To get your bills paid, it may be a battle. But if you have faith, you will win every single time. Amen. But bulldog faith is the kind of faith where Paul said to Timothy, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold. He says, lay hold means to grab a hold of something and don't let go. Now, the bulldog, John, I've got pictures of him. I should have, should have brought a picture for you. But the bulldog, John, he would grab a hold of something. He'd grab a hold of a stick or he would grab a hold of a towel. He liked to play with towels. And he'd play tug of war with that towel. He never lost. He never lost a tug of war battle. Whether and, and also, and I had another dog at the time, a Doberman Pinscher, and she was a lot bigger than he was, and a lot stronger than he was. And they would play tug of war. And I put the towel, one end of the towel, in his mouth, one end in her mouth, and let him tug. And those dogs would tug. The bulldog never lost. He never lost. He never lost to a person. You could put that end of that towel in his mouth and just shake it down there and he'd grab a hold of it and he'd pull and you'd pull. You could pull for an hour and that dog is still pulling and he's hanging on. And he's got his eyes closed. And he's just hanging on. That's what faith does. True faith hangs on. Bulldog faith never quits. Never quits. Jesus said, those that endure to the end shall be saved. The word saved is sozo, S-O-Z-O -O in the Greek, and it means wholeness, completeness, wellness, healing, and abundance and prosperity. Those that 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 endure, you got to endure, you got to hang on to it. You got to know what God has for you, grab a hold of it, and hang on until you rip it loose. Jacob wrestled with God all night long. Read that in Genesis. He wrestled with God all night long. He would not let go of God. When God showed up, Jacob grabbed a hold of it. People say to me, I've had people say to me, Pastor Jim, what would you do if Jesus appeared right here? I said, I'd bow down to him and grab a hold of him. Now, I'm telling you what, I would grab a hold of Jesus. And I wouldn't let go until he blesses me. I'd say, Lord, bless me. He'd say, let go of me, Jimmy. Let go. I'd say, no, Lord. No, I'm hanging on. I got you. I'm hanging on to you. I want you to bless me and I'm not letting go. That's what Jacob did with God. He wrestled with him all night long and the Lord said, let go of me. Let go. And he said, no. I'm not letting go of you till you bless me. And the Lord blessed him. Now I'm telling you what, people. When I was after the blessing. I read in uh, Galatians 3.29, 
if you be Christ, you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the blessing, which means that the blessing of Abraham is my inheritance. And I wanted it. I wanted it. I said, Lord, that belongs to me. That's my inheritance. Now you give it to me. I hung on to the Lord for eight months. Now you want to talk about bulldog faith? You want to talk about hanging on? Don't you even talk to me about hanging on until you've been there eight months. And I'm not talking about just believing for something. I'm talking about hanging on. Mary, did I hang on for eight months? <clears throat> she will tell you. All day, every day, on and on and on I went. Lord, that blessing is my inheritance. Now you bless me. And I went on and on and I never let up. I'm a covenant person. Now you bless me. Now you command the blessing upon me like you said in Deuteronomy 28. And I mean I made my case day after day, week after week, and month after month. You want to talk to me about bulldog faith? Don't compare your faith to mine till you have done this for eight months. Eight months. Finally, eight months later, the Lord spoke to me. He said the key to the blessing is in Mark chapter 16. I broke through. Eight months. Now, there's been other times when I needed things and I broke through in a matter of a couple hours. Lord, your word says I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. Now you heal me. I went on and on for, I did that one time, seven hours. Till God spoke to me and said, I'm going to heal you. We're done. Another time I did it because of our finances. We were down to 58 cents in our bank account. We had tuition due. We were in Bible college. And we had rent due, and we didn't have no money. And I said, Lord, I have brought the first fruits of my increase to you. Now you bless me. You fill my barns, and you do it today. I did that three or four hours. And this peace came over me. And I sat down. That afternoon, our finances broke wide open. I'm telling you what, people. You want to talk about bulldog faith? It works every single time. It works, it works, it works. I'm telling you, this is how to break through. It's how to break through. You don't have to struggle with this. You can break through. You can hang on. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life. you got to lay hold of eternal life. you got to hang on to your salvation. I'm telling you what, I have got a bulldog grip on my salvation. I got a bulldog grip on my healing. I got a bulldog grip on the abundant life. Bulldog grip. You can't shake Jesus loose from me. I'm telling you what, I got a hold of him and I will hang on to him for all eternity. Nobody will ever get him away from me. That's bulldog determination. That's bulldog faith. Glory to God. Say, you share this with everybody you know. I want everybody to have this book. This book will develop bulldog faith. I'm telling you what, people, listen to me. There is nothing you can't have. Nothing you can't get from God. Nowhere you can't go. Nobody you can't be if you have bulldog faith. Don't forget, when you make offerings today, call me because I want to bless you and I want to get another book in your hands. So you have books for your family and your friends and your pastor. Amen. If you need any prayer answered today, please call me because I am the bulldog when it comes to faith and I will get what you want or need. Was that good? Share this with everybody you know, please. I want everybody in the country to see this. Glory to God. Have a great day. And remember this. God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills. And bulldog faith will get what you need every single time.